Okay, this little guy has been found near the rescue centre by Sue, one of our amazing volunteers. As you can see, he is absolutely skeletal, skeletal, skeletal. He's a good boy. He's a lovely, lovely dog, as you can see. Very, very friendly. He's also got rotten teeth. So we're going to find out his age and a bit more about him at the vets and there will be an update on him. Possibly he could be a victim of the flood. We're not really sure. But as you can see, he is very, very weak. He's absolutely skeletal. Well, update on this poor little soul. So, he's a boy. He, <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about you. I'm talking about you. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. He's a boy. He doesn't have a chip, so he has no identification. Um, apparently, the vet thinks he has a heartworm, a heart murmur. Um, he also has ticks and fleas all the obvious things that we expected and worms. So he's going to be treated over the next few days for that. And he has had a blood test. So we will get it, be getting back the results of those very soon. And then we'll just have to take it from there. Uh, the vet believes he's round about nine or 10 years old. At the moment, I've got him in the only spare stable we've got, quite simply because he cannot mix with other dogs because he's got ticks and fleas, etc. And obviously, we have to make sure that he doesn't have anything contagious. But little by little, we will do everything we can to give this little guy quality of life. Oh, apparently, he's also got a heart murmur. So there you go. But anyway, we will keep you on informed of his progress. If you see close up, I don't know if you can see with this camera, but there is absolutely nothing to him at all. He is just completely, completely skin and bones. There's just absolutely nothing there. Under the coat, it's just a rib cage. So, but there you go. He's a little sweetie, isn't he? I've now got to think of a name for him, I guess. Unless there's anybody out there that would actually like to adopt him. If you did, it would be absolutely wonderful. Um, as I said, he obviously does have quite a few complications. Uh, we have six dogs and I think about 16 or 17 cats now, as well as the 120 horses, ponies and donkeys, the chickens, the peacocks, the parrots, the budgies. Um, oh, and three pigs, of course. So um, we do have rather a full house. As I said, if there's anybody out there that would like to give this guy a home, it would be very much appreciated. But if not, we will just have to do the very best we can for him here at the rescue centre. So there you have it. A further update in two or three days time.